Hello people! Today I once again combine my favorite things. Here I have screen caps from Supernatural as references and I will do small 2 by 4 inches color studies. Um, I want to start with the thing that I think I got why people like going to art schools and take art educations. So one of the reasons I think is a feedback and critique and judgment from the others who have or should have had more experience and knowledge than you. Because learning by yourself it's hard to see where is good and where is bad art. Some mistakes are not that obvious and even if I see them, like I always look in comparison with my old art, but anyway, even if I see mistakes in one particular picture, I feel like I need to hear that I'm going in the right direction overall or not and how to fix it. Like I feel like I need feedback on my whole art journey. Um, yeah, and I think the reason, the biggest reason why I'm in such frustration right now is because I got used to do either light, simple pencil sketches or colored, full, complicated pieces. So color probably means for me, like for my mind, it means finished pieces. And I guess when I try to use color just for studies, my reflexes and my mind starting to whisper, you need to do more than 30 minutes, than 15 minutes. You need to spend 6, 7, 8, 24 hours and make it perfect. And my mind is disappointed to see the results. <laughs> Something that is not detailed and polished when it knows how it could have been. Like, for example, if you will scroll my Instagram a little bit down, um, you can see the gouache of the fallen tree over the river. And you'll understand what I mean. Because I spent six hours on that painting and it's so detailed and, and it's good. It's it's complex and it's really really good but that's not what I'm doing right now with these pieces. I'm trying to learn and not to do mas masterpiece. Okay let, let's move that aside. I still as I told you study value spots and uh, one good advice that I heard is to block less of them but the ones that are the most important. Like, I don't draw every shade from every branch and I even don't do them at all. But they still look as the trees and completely natural in that environment. And for me to see what I need to draw and what can be left out, I keep my reference picture small and unfocus my eyes a little bit. If you're wearing glasses, good for you because you can just take them off. But I unfocus my eyes a little bit and paint those blurred shapes that I see. I try to keep them simple like I have from four to seven main value spots on the painting. Yeah and uh, I did like drawing cars though and definitely need to do more of them because I got them wrong here. Like Impala on the first picture is narrower than that should, than should and police car on the second one is smaller than on the reference. Mm, yeah, these are clearly the mistakes and not the art choices. Yes, but among the art choices that I made here, I intentionally didn't paint the fog on the left side and push some colors harder or even added some colors. But yes, cars. The vehicles can be really charismatic. They may not be the subject of the artwork, but more like a detail that completes the story. If you watch Supernatural, I think it's impossible not to fall in love with Impala. She's, she's a separate character, like mad. <laughs> I just want to touch her <laughs> and to maybe get her right. Ah. Okay, back to painting. Oh my god, I have so many crossed nouns here. I'm sorry if I'm not so, if I don't sound and speak myself clear today. It's just hard for me to think for some reason. 
Anyway, I noticed that with time my strokes getting lighter and I use less paint achieving the same results. Like I often saw people asking how much water should you use with gouache and I think that there is unfortunately no correct answer to this. I feel like we all start with wrong amount and get it right in process. I recently subscribed to Mike Dutton YouTube channel and he painted really really lightly and then added more thicker paint while doing more detailed work. And he didn't even went over with more layers for the background. He just put perfect amount of water and of course color from the first time. So <laughs> I think that even if the most famous artists will measure how much water they add to paint for me, it will still come to me only with practice also paper this sketchbook paper is perfect to learn but if i would do full-blown pieces i will definitely go with thicker and better quality one because there is really limited amount of water i can put there before it starts to crinkle and buckle you can probably notice that on screen in some moments the tape did ripped off the paper and the paint which is awful but today I noticed that I'm two people away from 500. Like, what? <laughs> you people are amazing. Thank you so much for watching this and hanging out with me. I mean, like, honestly, thank you. Carry on and goodbye.